it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video on my work in progress map. Currently I have it loading up in Giants Editor. Uh, I just have a couple of quick things to say. Normally this video would be going up on Wednesday, but I'm actually doing it on Tuesday because this is going to be a bit of a shorter video because this is just going to be a little update. Um, and I will be able to get this up a whole lot faster than I can get up uh, the actual video that will be going up today because I have to be at work in an hour and um, it's going to take a little while to get some stuff done so this video is going to be a whole lot faster and I won't be back until late tonight and I want to have a video out on time for you guys so let's get into it uh, just going to just have a couple of things to show uh, we'll just take a look I know I showed this I'm sure but you know, updated PDA camera uh, looking awesome I still need to do this water plane I need to figure out how I want to do that, I think I'm just going to end up making a whole bunch of water planes and just moving them around. Biggest update, uh, main, well, pretty much the main thing that I want to update you guys on is I have the starter farm added. Um, so here we have the farmhouse. I took this off of Goldcrest Valley uh, from FS17, ran it through Blender, and uh, applied all the old textures, and we got it in 15 now, looking good. Um, we've got a nice mailbox out here. Uh, even in this farmyard, even with all these trees, I still run over 100 FPS, which is awesome. Um, and then we got the farmyard here. These grain bins are only temporarily in Giants Editor because these are actual mods from the game. Um, so these are just in here so I can figure out, you know, like their XYZ coordinates. Um, all of all of these, so that way I can script them in to start with. Uh, you know, basically putting them into the default vehicles XML and putting them in there, so that way they uh, that way they are in the game whenever I start a new save game. Uh, so we have three. They're all I think it's with steel. We steel something like that. They're all that brand bin. They're all smaller bins. We have three uh, ground, you know, ground low, you know, three standard grain bins, um, and then two updated hopper bins. You know, Grandpa got a little bit up, got a few updates done on this farm before he retired. So, uh, which I see one quick thing that I need to fix that I noticed in game. Just have a little bit of grass to delete here. Okay, good to go. Um, then we got three fuel tanks. I'm going to have these. I only have one trigger. As you can see, these other ones are just the barrels. And what I'm going to do is have it uh, set up like Dakota Plains where it's got a fill level on it. Um, so like you have to go and buy fuel and haul it to the farm. It'll just have, you know, I'll figure out how many gallon tanks, you know, how many gallons these tanks hold and then multiply it by three and that'll be for there. We got the Quonset here. Everything has working doors. I just need to change these doors because these weren't the ones that I thought they were. Um, but got a nice Quonset here. Uh, we got three corn cribs. Uh, grandpa used to do, you know, ear corn but uh, I'm not so these are just sitting there bunch of grandpa's old equipment uh, we got an old farm all 560 New Holland Clayson with a corn and grain header John Deere uh, what the heck is it 8530 drill I think yeah 8350 excuse me uh, then we got an old plow and then an old international cyclo planter um, so those are kind of surrounded by some bushes because, of course, Grandpa didn't want to get rid of them. This is kind of the workshop here. Um, got a lift hoist in here. We got a bunch of storage. I am going to throw a bunch of tools in here and stuff. A bunch of workshop pieces, but I just haven't done it yet. Um, we got this is kind of like the paint booth. So you can see we got some 
John Deere green paint. Um, and this is another storage shed. Uh, this also has a smaller corn crib in it with some corn in it yet. Um, so these two buildings are off American Eagles modding. The corn cribs are there for FS13. Bins are on AEM for FS13. And the Quonset and the tanks came off of... Let's see, the Quonset, the tanks, the planter, the plow, and the tractor all came off of Dakota Plains. Uh, the Clayson is off Mod Hoster for FS13. I just apply. I just basically exported it and got it into the 15 Giants editor and just kind of disassembled them. Planter is also for 13. Uh, I think it's like off FS, FSUK. I just applied its dirt skin for the texture, make it look kind of old and old and abused. And then the trees are all off of Westbridge, and this is off of Gold Crest, and that's also off of Dakota Plains. So yeah, that's the farm. Uh, gonna keep working on farms and whatnot. So thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. A uh, nice little short video update for you guys. Just a little quick one. Uh, the next video will we'll work on a farm. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, again, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to, uh, well, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.